there is one question on everyone's mind you and me of as to when will the vaccine for coronavirus be ready oxford covid-19 vaccine trial shows promising results in early testing as per study let's understand whether it is hope or hype but before i tell you about the oxford vaccine let me explain about the phases of clinical trials a clinical trial is only done when there is a good reason to believe that a new test or treatment or vaccine may improve the care of patients before clinical trials tests and treatments are assessed in preclinical research preclinical research is not done with people but in animals after preclinical research tests and treatments go through a series of clinical trials clinical trials assess if tests or treatments are safe and work in people clinical trials have five phases phase zero trials are the first clinical trials done among people they aim to learn how a drug is processed in the body and how it affects the body in these trials a very small dose of drug is given to about 10 to 15 people phase 1 trials aim to find the best dose of the new drug with the fewest side effects the drug is tested in a small group of 15 to 30 patients doctors start by giving very low dose of the drug to a few patients phase second trials are done in larger groups of patients compared to the phase 1 trial patients are closely watched to see if the drug works these trials assess the side effects of each drug and which drug works better phase 3 trials enroll 100 or more patients every patient in a phase 3 study is watched very closely the study can be stopped if the side effects of the new drug or vaccine are too severe phase 3 clinical trials are often needed before the food and drug administration fda approves the use of a new drug or vaccine for the general public in phase 4 trials test new drugs approved by the fda the drug is tested in several hundreds of thousands of patients new study reveals oxford coronavirus vaccine produces a strong immune response a team of scientists at oxford vaccine group department of pediatrics and oxford universities jenner institute has taken the next step towards the discovery of a safe effective and accessible vaccine against coronavirus the results of the phase 1 and 2 trial published on 20th july in the scientific journal the lancet indicate no early safety concerns and induces strong immune responses in both parts of the immune system phase first and second trials began in april for testing the oxford coronavirus vaccine the team started working to develop a vaccine against the global threat of coronavirus in january 2020 and have been working with unprecedented urgency in a race against the coronavirus during the phase 1 and trial the vaccine has been evaluated in more than 1000 healthy adult volunteers aged between 18 to 55 years in a randomized controlled trial a subset of these volunteers 10 people received two doses of the vaccine between april 23 2020 and may 21 2021 1077 volunteers received the vaccine the vaccine provoked a t cell white blood cells that can attack cells infected with sars cov2 virus response within 14 days of vaccination the vaccine trial also provoked an antibody response within 28 days antibodies are able to neutralize the virus so that it cannot infect cells when initially contracted during the study participants who received the vaccine had detectable neutralizing antibodies which researchers have suggested to be important for protection and these responses were strongest after a booster dose with 100% of participants blood having neutralizing activity against the coronavirus the next step in studying the virus is to confirm that it can effectively protect against sars cov2 infection professor andrew polar chief investigator of the oxford vaccine trial at oxford university and co-author of the study said the phase 1 and 2 data for a coronavirus vaccine shows that the vaccine did not lead to any unexpected reactions and had a similar safety profile to previous vaccine of this type although we must continue with our rigorous clinical trial program to confirm this in humans professor polar also said we saw the strongest immune responses in the 10 participants who received two doses of the vaccine indicating that this might be a good strategy for vaccination professor sara gilbert of vaccinology at the university of oxford general institute and the co-author of the study said these encouraging results support for the evaluation of this candidate vaccine in our ongoing large scale phase 3 program 
that is still needed to assess the ability of the vaccines to protect people from COVID-19. Professor Andrew Pollard also said, however, we need more research before we can confirm the vaccine effectively protects against SARS-CoV-2 COVID-19 infection and for how long any protection lasts. But is the medicine safe or it has side effects? Researchers said the vaccine caused minor side effects, but some of these could be reduced by taking paracetamol with no serious adverse events from the vaccine. The study showed 90% of people developed neutralizing antibodies after one dose. Only 10 people were given two doses and all of them produced neutralizing antibodies. There were no dangerous side effects from taking the vaccine. However, 70% of people on the trial developed either fever or headache. Local and systemic minor reactions were more common, but researchers said these minor reactions like pain, feeling feverish, chills, muscle ache, headache, and malaise can be managed. There were no serious adverse events related to experimental vaccine trials so far. Professor Sarah Gilbert from the University of Oxford UK says, there is still much work to be done before we can confirm if our vaccine will help manage the COVID-19 pandemic, but these early results hold promise. A pharmaceutical company, AstraZeneca, and scientists at Britain's University of Oxford are developing this experimental COVID-19 vaccine called AZD1222. AstraZeneca is among the leading vaccine candidates against a pandemic, alongside others in mid and late stages trials like China's Sinovac Biotech, another from state-owned Chinese firm, Sinopharm, and one from the US biotech firm Madonna. AstraZeneca has signed agreements with governments around the world to supply the vaccine if it proves effective and gain regulatory approval. The company has said it will not seek to profit from the vaccine during the pandemic. What are the next steps in the trial? The findings are hugely promising, but it is still too soon to know if this is enough to offer protection and larger trials are underway. The main purpose is to ensure the vaccine is safe enough to give people. The study cannot show whether the vaccine can either prevent people from becoming ill or even lessen their symptoms of COVID-19. More than 10,000 people will take part in the next stage of the trials in UK. However, the trial has also been expanded to other countries. There will be a large trial involving 30,000 people in the US, 20,000 in South Africa and 5,000 in Brazil.